Hello everyone. Yesterday's video is very, very short, and this one might be slightly longer, but hopefully I will, uh, I'll keep it at a sensible length. Just wanted to show you a bit more about the robot arms and sort of the way that I expect them to be used. So let's just say you have a hypothetical scenario where, due to your own incompetence, you have managed to get a whole bunch of copper and lithium split into a bunch of chests, and you would like to split these up separately so you can have a more efficient smelting system. So you can hear, sorry, iron ore. So here I've managed to put about 60 iron, uh, 60 ore total, uh, 30 iron, 30 lithium into two different chests. What I've got here is I have a series of robot arms. The ones on the right are set for lithium, the ones on the left are set for iron. So the conveyor is set around to go into a loop to continue to filter stuff. Things that go into the right hand one should be lithium should go into here. And things that are on the left hand one which are set to iron should go into here. Or pop my cup of each no say anything. But I'll do that as it goes on. So if I just finish off this conveyor there, they should start to move. Now, they'll ignore anything that isn't of their type. So that's iron, so it should be grabbed by the one on the left. Iron on the left, iron on the left. So these will start moving all the iron across to the left hand side. They have to wait for a free spot, so if you have a very saturated conveyor, the uh, they may take a few moments to actually find a free spot. Come some lithium. Um, I'm apologise for the glitching, by the way. That's due to the frame rate dropping due to frap. So they're actually only managing about 15 frames a second now. But normally this was running at 220, 230 frames a second before I attached fraps. But fraps is a bit of a pain sometimes. One of the things I'm still trying to work on is the locking. So as you can see, sometimes the rubber arms actually cause the conveyors to have to pause to wait for them to get into the position. Um, part of that will be Layers. Part of that will be um, uh, a slight more intelligent system, so they'll be able to see a block coming and lock in the bats and be ready to pick it up. As you can see, though, on the return shoot, so far we haven't had any things there. We can just see we've got a couple of bits there and some grass, but so far everything has been uh, set up into the lithium. one got through so when all the conveyors are busy one will get through so in this case I don't have enough conveyors they're also probably a bit too close together but normally you probably have like four conveyors and then you keep an eye on them and notice that this stuff's being pulled out and then have to sort of go back and uh, run through it. but hopefully that should give you the, the basic idea so the robot conveyors are made of six different ore so that one will only have an iron ore in it and this one will only have a little in it and then move those to a conveyor so that's nothing system very quick in fact. There we go, there are still 30 in there. I can't remember how I put this one, 29. So there you go, 29 iron in the left, 30 lithium in the right. This should be available hopefully this week, but if not, it will be available as a steam patch early next week. Thanks for watching, and as ever, please rate, comment, and subscribe.